Now there are eclipse gatherings happening all across North Texas for people uh, trying to get the best view possible. And Larry Collins is at the University of Texas at Arlington this morning where thousands of people are expected to gather later today. Good morning, Larry. Good morning and a happy eclipse day. You know, this is going to be one of the hot spots in North Texas. They're expecting anywhere from 10 to 15,000 people to gather here in the campus of UTA. We're right outside the planetarium, one of the hot spots at the hot spot. And we know a lot of people are going to have to get on the roads to get here. It's quiet right now, but that's going to certainly change. And TxDOT has been working around the clock for weeks now to make sure that everything is ready and set. TxDOT expecting around a million people traveling to and through the state of Texas with the sole purpose of seeing the eclipse. Now they have 24 hour emergency services now in place along with extra crew and equipment. They are ready to direct traffic to keep everything moving all day long and they know that is not going to be very easy. They say they need the help of drivers as well. One of the things we're really trying to encourage people to do is to arrive early, stay put and leave late. Uh, what that means is get there a little bit earlier than you might expect, uh, and then when you're there, stay there a little extra longer, support those local businesses, support, you know, those local communities that you may not have been there before to see the eclipse. Um, that way you can kind of elongate that time after the eclipse and spread that flow of traffic as people go home. Now, distracted driving is a major concern today, not just for text out, but also for local law enforcement. They say expect heavy traffic and sudden stops by drivers on many roadways. Also, be on alert for distracted pedestrians, people who are looking up at the sky as they walk. But today, they say keep your headlights on while you're driving, even in the daylight. And of course, they say do not wear these, your eclipse glasses, while you're trying to drive. They say if you are driving during the eclipse itself, keep going. Don't slow down. Don't stop in the middle of the road trying to see. Don't even pull over on the side of the road to try to see. If you have to, get in a parking lot, but be prepared. You may be stuck in that parking lot for a very long time. Live this morning in Arlington, Larry Collins, NBC5.